Hey guys, it's the Solar Path here, and today in service monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Bofrost, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get him out of his breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First up, Bofrost is a cursor, and his traits are Team Freeze, Immunity, Harden, and Area Days. Those are just kind of bad traits. Rank 3 is alright, actually, but the other two are just kind of bad. And then his relics are Mask and Trap, which are decent. So now let's go on down to the pros and the cons. So he has access to nice debuffs and damage reduction, total damage reduction, and days. All of those are pretty great. He also has access to freeze and positive effect removal, which is really good. He has low cooldowns and stamina costs across the board. He's got great relics and amazing speed. So those are some really big pros. They're very, very good. And then his cons are bad trait, which is kind of true average skill set and multiple zero damage attacks, which is interesting. Let's go and see what he's talking about down here in the moveset. So he's got an AOE, PR, and daze, which is pretty great but it doesn't do damage he also has a pr with total damage reduction which also doesn't do damage he also has an aoe at total damage reduction with no damage and a 45 water damage with freeze and daze that one actually does damage but i would probably stick with the total damage reduction and daze and then he has an aoe pr with damage reduction which is really good aoe pr is amazing and he has it twice but if you pick all of the pretty great moves you wouldn't be doing any damage which i guess isn't a huge problem for a cursor but if the rest of your team dies Dies and you only have this monster left he won't be able to do any damage so you just gotta basically protect the rest of your team and make sure they don't die while this monster is still on the field but yeah the moves are pretty good good i mean he has an aoe pr he also has single target pr and another aoe pr with damage reduction so yeah he has some pretty great moves it is a little weird that they don't do damage but yeah pretty good moves he also has an all right trade i guess if you can get him to rank three that area days is okay the other two are just kind of bad though so yeah he seems like a decent monster though definitely go ahead and get him especially since he's out of a breeding man he's pretty easy to get and he's free so yeah, go ahead and get him let me know down in the comments what you guys think of bofrost and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe more videos like this and i say in the next one. Goodbye.